Welcome to Brett Dupree. Wait, what? Yes, this is Brett Dupree, and I'm doing a five-part series on my journey through being my awesome health wealth journey, starting with a therapist and nutritionist. Trigger warning, you may see me cry. That happens because today I'm talking about going more into depth about numbing my emotions. For you see, something's been happening this last week that just made me more emotional than I thought it would. And it's just been working on dealing with it in the most healthy way possible. And that's one thing I've been working on with my therapist, especially, is dealing with my emotions. Since I was young, trauma, parents divorcing, on dealing with everything that comes out of that, I, as a kid, felt I really had no one to go to when it came to dealing with my emotions. This might throw my parents out there, but especially at their young ages, they weren't the most emotionally mature people when it came to displaying emotions. When I was young, I never saw my my parents fight, which seemed like a good thing growing up. But that also means I've never saw my parents resolve conflict from emotion. And so I almost got this sense without them trying to teach me that emotions were bad. And when we were going through that incident, I specifically remember playing board games with my family and being frustrated on losing because I'm a kid and I'm going to lose and crying because I'm dealing with, I'm processing my emotions of dealing with my parents, but I'm also frustrated that I'm losing in this game and everyone just telling me not to cry. And this just went on all my life. In fact, I think I've had one family member that I can think of who actually encouraged emotions. And that was my grandfather on my father's side, but most of my family, especially, uh, would kind of make fun of him for that, for having a healthy emotional, uh, dealing with emotions. Plus I hated it too, as a kid, because like, who wants someone to tell you "Mm -hmm, mm -hmm," when you're crying, you want something to happen and you want the pain to go away. So growing up, I never really liked my emotions. And during that time and any trauma that I had was just more excuse to shut down. And the funny part is, is now I'm in my 40s, since my change really started happening at 26. Every time I feel like I can get vulnerable, I always reach a stopping point, but not knowing there is a stopping point and keep on hitting that wall. It comes from uh, my uncle dying. That was a very traumatic event. I gained at least 60 pounds when that happened. Or um, losing my job for a year. I gained weight, lost weight, gained weight, lost weight. In fact, I lost 60 pounds when I got a new job because I was able to do that. But then dealing with my crappy ass roommate, uh, that kind of helped me put in dealing with those emotions. And just emotions, period, because that year was traumatic. And I just really de- deal with the trauma until like a couple years later where I noticed I was in trauma. Which, again, that comes with not knowing my body, not knowing myself. And so dealing with emotions hasn't been the best for me, or I haven't been the best at it is the better way of putting it. And so working on this in the last year is feeling my emotions out and dealing with them in a healthy way and not going to food, not going to spending. Because like 2019, my life was riding high. I had almost everything I could ever want in life. I had a good job. I had a good woman. I had my own light worker Toastmasters group, which was absolutely amazing. Every week was just so fulfilling. I was writing high and everything was great. And then COVID happened. And all of a sudden I spent all my money and ate myself out of house and home and dealing with that. Also that when I bloomed up in the 440s. So obviously that was just a house of cards ready for a new emotional thing to happen. So one thing I'm working on now is working on dealing with my emotions and feeling my emotions. And something I used to do, which is listening to music and crying. I did that with my uncle. I did that with every girlfriend I broke up. And I kind of stopped doing that due to just listening and getting addicted to podcasts. And so I will play for you right now and hopefully not cry, but we will see. One of my favorite songs that I like to listen to and sing along with to get those tears flowing. And you will never guess what song it is. If you heard with it, I will just play a verse and the um, chorus 
Hopefully this won't get taken down. And here we go. Yeah. Ship lies in harbor. It's ready to dock. I wish her safe passage without any shock. And should ever we meet again by land or by sea, there always remember the kindness to me. There's a health to my company and one to my last. Let us drink and be merry on top of one glass. Let us drink and be merry on me to refrain. Though we may and might never be here again. Isn't that so true? And it is. You never know what comes in and out of your life. You never know what's going to happen. And it's okay for a man to cry. <sighs> I hope you have an amazing day. Man, it scares the hell out of me.